Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Today we're going to be doing another guide and um, we're going to be looking at farming. Um, it's something you unlock not late in the game but not straight away. It takes a little while before you can get um, farming available to you. Um, but we're just going to be looking very briefly and basically at how it works and the basic mechanics of it. So essentially before you can even touch farming you have to go through the basics of the game. You have to finish the first boss, um, unlock the pickaxe and then you've got to go and find copper, uh, tin, and core wood. I've already done a guide on those things, so if you don't know how to do those, or if you don't know where to find copper, tin, and all that, you go and check that video out, and that will um, show you how to find it, where to find it, and how to get it. As for getting the pickaxe, it is as simple as you just need to finish off the first boss, which is very, very easy to do. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, you need to make five bronze, and you need to get ten core wood, or five core wood. You need a bit of core wood, but chop down one pine tree and you can get it. Now pine trees are found in the um, the dark forest. They're found at the very like highest peaks or in the very centre of the forest depending on which one you go to and you can identify them pretty easily because they have no leaves or branches down at the bottom and they're very very tall. All the leaves and branches at the very top. So you can tell them apart from the fir trees that are there in the area as well. But essentially once you've done that, once you've got your five bronze and your core wood, you want to go up to the forge and you want to build something called a cultivator. Now I'll go ahead and show you the cultivator in the forge now. So it's just in here. Scroll down and there you have it. Cultivator right there. A farming tool for tilling soil. So yeah, five core wood and five bronze. And obviously to make bronze it's just two copper and one tin. So it's nice and easy. Copper is the only thing that takes a little while to get. But yeah, you just need ten copper, five tin and you can make yourself a cultivator. Now, what's the purpose of having a cultivator? Well, it helps because you can now not only make food for yourselves, like what I've got here, carrots growing, struggling, they need to fix the door. I'm going to go out the other door. Ignore that. Still need to fix it. Um, but yeah, essentially you can make um, you can make carrots, but not just that. Um, you can make trees. Now, I did, yeah, I've got one there, but as you can see, it's not growing because it's underneath a roof. So in order to make them grow, you have, they have to be nice and out in the open. And uh, basically, they'll tell you if there's anything wrong, if they need anything. As you can see, they're all nice and healthy. They've got sunlight, they've got ground, they're absolutely fine. Um, but not just that, with the cultivator, you can also plant trees, um, even including pine trees. So if you want a home source of core wood, you can actually plant pine trees just outside of your own base if you wanted to and start growing them there. Um, but essentially, yeah, you can also place down grass if you need to, if you want to make your um, base look any nicer. But essentially, all you've got to do is you've got to cultivate a plot of land like that, make it look nice and soily, nice and tilled and you grab your seeds, in this case we're using carrot seeds because that's the only thing that we have um, food wise we've got our carrot seeds here, we've got all eight of them and we simply just pop them in like that and then it will tell us if they need anything what they need and essentially they'll grow in a couple of days um, usually don't take too long, they'll grow, they'll give you carrots and then they'll give you a few seeds as well um, it just depends on what you grow now I believe uh, at some point in the game you will be able to farm through berries. I know this is like you can use them to um, tame other animals and things, so you can will eventually be able to make berry bushes, but um, that's a little bit further on. But essentially, yeah. So that's how you make uh, carrots and other little seed foods. And otherwise, you can place down your tree saplings and have them grow into fully grown trees as well. Now we just go ahead. Yeah, we can pop that down there. There we go, we're going to have a nice little pine um, pine tree. We only had the one pine cone. Obviously, like I said, you need to find the seeds as well. You can't just do it. Uh, you should have a lot of birch seeds. Usually if you just chop down trees, obviously you get a lot of them naturally. Fir, you just need a fir cone, pine cone. It tells you what you need. Obviously, you're not going to have all of them. You will need to discover the seeds and um, things first. As you can see, we've only got these four. Had we discovered other elements, other trees, other seeds, they would come up too. Um, but that's just what we have for the moment. We've got carrots, fir, pine, and beech. Because we have these pine cones somewhere. Um, so yeah, pretty much any tree, once you've chopped it down, if you chop down enough of them, you should get some seeds. And from that point onwards, uh, you can plant it. The same with the berries and like carrots and things. Just pick up flowers, all sorts of things, and eventually you'll find which ones you can actually harvest. Now there's only certain ones on the main island. Once you start going out into the sea, there's going to be others. Um, as far as I know at the moment, I need to do a little bit more exploring. I don't know if there's any way to speed up the process. I'm sure there probably is, but I have not found it yet. Um, you might be able to make, like, I don't know, 
something just to speed it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, essentially it is that simple. That's a nice little source of food right there. So we're going to have carrots growing. We're going to have a lot of them ready soon. And then we can replant them and make our own little farmland. I hope this has helped, guys. It's really, honestly, that very simple. If you've got any questions like how to actually make the cultivator or how what you need to do early game before you can get to this stage, then please let me know down in the comments or in the Discord server, which is in the description below. Um, otherwise, guys, yeah, I hope this helps. I will be doing one on um, taming as well. A lot of smoke going in there. That's not good, is it? Oop, yep. I need to fix that. Um, but yeah, I'll do a video on taming as well and how to do that. Um, all sorts of different animals and taming. As I go on, I'll show you where to find all different types of seeds and pine cones. This is just what I've got at the moment, um, but I will do a guide in the future on how to find all the different types of seeds and pine cones and different tree types um, and go a lot more in depth on the farming. This is just a basic tutorial, so that's all you need. You just need to get the cultivator, uh, get your bits of bronze. Like I said, um, I've done a guide on how to find the metal, how to get the metal, and um, so that's on my channel. So you go watch that first. Then come and watch this. This is, yeah, nice basic tutorial, and I will be getting one on taming soon. So I hope this helped, guys. If you've got any more questions, suggestions, anything like that, make sure you leave them down in the comments below or message me on Discord. Um, otherwise, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, because it really helps the channel, and you can keep up to date with all the new content that's going to be coming out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.